Once you step foot on the beautiful campus of Auburn University, you quickly understand why students, employees, and visitors fall in love with the loveliest village on the plains. Auburn University takes pride in being a safe place to learn and grow. However, it's possible for someone to come onto campus to cause harm or threaten our way of life. Our campus public safety department, partnered with the City of Auburn Police Department, work hard every day in an effort to promote a safe campus. Should the unthinkable happen on our campus, you must know how to react to help lessen the impact and help protect yourself and others. Higher education institutions can fall victim to horrific incidents. Realizing this, we should strive to prepare ourselves and others to react in a way to help prevent injuries and save lives. Hello, I'm Chance Corbett with the Department of Public Safety here at Auburn University. Although very unlikely, at any time you could be faced with a situation in which an armed aggressor is threatening your safety or the safety of those around you. Today we would like to introduce a new program called ALICE. The acronym ALICE stands for Alert, Lockdown, Inform, Counter, and Evacuate. With the proper use of these five steps, you could save your life or the lives of others. Although the letters in the acronym ALICE may appear to be sequential steps you must follow, the letters are just a way for you to remember key options you may decide to use in order to stay safe. Your decisions should be based on the situation. Should you find yourself in danger, you may choose to run, lock down, or you may have no choice but to fight back. Alert refers to the way you learn about the threatening situation and how you communicate the danger to others. You may see the aggressor, you may hear gunshots, screams, or other loud noises. Someone may tell you or you may even receive a cell phone call or an AU alert message. Once alerted to the danger, you must take action. If you are unable to get out quickly and safely, you may need to lock down by locking and barricading the door, thereby trying to prevent the aggressor from getting to you. As soon as you are safe, immediately dial 911 and give the dispatcher as many details as possible. This will help others be notified of the danger and help police get to you faster. Be sure that others around you are aware of the danger. Notifications such as AU Alert are sent once we know there is a danger on campus. If you choose to lock down, move quickly into a room or area that can be closed off by a door or other barrier. Quickly lock and barricade the door. Remember, time is always an issue for you and the aggressor. If you are able to stack chairs, desks, tables, or other things against the door or entryway, the threatening person may likely move to another area instead of wasting time having to climb over or move the objects in an attempt to get into a room where there may or may not be people. The aggressor's goal is to do as much harm as possible before the police or someone else intervenes. Every door can be barricaded, regardless of whether the door locks or the direction in which the door opens. You may need to be creative. Don't just give up. Once you have locked and barricaded the door, quickly move to an area out of sight and start coming up with a plan for how you will respond should the aggressor be determined to get into your safe area. Coordinate your actions. Start gathering several items that you can use to protect yourself. Every room has something you can use to distract and defend from the aggressor's attack. Communicate with others around you and tell them your plan. Don't wait until the aggressor gets into your safe area to have a plan of action. The police are trained to respond immediately. Remember, you called them and they are on the way. The police are not there to care for those injured or to stop and try to get people out of the building. Their mission is to stop the aggressor from harming others as quickly as possible. Because of this quick response by the police, we continue to emphasize that every second really does count. Staying informed is also very important. If you see or hear something that can help the police arrive sooner, you or someone in your room should immediately dial 911 and tell the dispatcher the information. Is this, is this 911? Yeah, there, there's shooters, I think, outside the building. Everybody's screaming. I don't know. 123 Smith Building. We're in the 123 Smith Building. Please hurry. Telling the 911 dispatcher what you have heard or seen and where the aggressor may be located is key to helping the police respond to the threat. Your information may direct the police quickly to the aggressor and could save lives. Updated information that is received by 911 dispatchers can also be relayed to others on campus by public safety through the AU Alert system and other notification methods. 
if you receive updates as to how the police response is going or the last known location of the aggressor, this information may help you make a plan or make decisions such as continuing to lock down, evacuating, or getting ready for something else that may soon happen. If the aggressor surprises you or makes it into your safe area, you should consider taking some type of action. Although hiding is one option, don't just lie down under a desk or hide in the corner if it is obvious that the threatening person is able to cause you harm. If the aggressor is intent on coming into your safe area and you are able to, you may choose to leave through another door or window. If there is no way to keep the aggressor out of the room or to evacuate to a safer place, you may decide it is best to defend yourself and others. If you decide to counter the aggressor's attack, you may be able to distract and disrupt the aggressor's plan, put the aggressor on the defensive, and maybe even disarm and subdue the aggressor until the police arrive. Once on the floor, try to separate the weapon from the aggressor, but never pick it up or handle it. You should then ensure that someone in the room has dialed 911 to update the police of the situation. If possible, hold the aggressor down on the floor until the police arrive. Once again, do not pick up the weapon as you may then be mistaken for the aggressor. If you are staying in the room, carefully place a trash can or large item over the weapon and guard it until police arrive. If the person on the floor is still a threat, you may choose to leave the room. If you leave with the weapon, place the weapon in a trash can, box, or other container so that you will not be mistaken by police as being the aggressor as you enter the hallway or, or exit the building. Just before leaving the room, place your hands up near your head with all fingers spread apart and yell, we're coming out. Always follow the commands of the police officers as they arrive. Remember, how you respond to a threatening situation is your decision. These options are only presented so that you may make a decision if you ever find yourself in a dangerous situation. At the Auburn Police Division, we're constantly training officers on how to respond to any dangerous situation on the Auburn University campus. When officers arrive, always obey their commands. Remember, they are trained professionals that are here to keep you safe. The ALICE program is designed to help teach students, employees, and visitors of Auburn University how to react based on any type of threatening situation. Only confront the aggressor if it is obvious that you are in immediate danger and there is no other way to lock down or evacuate the area that you are in. When using the counter component of the ALICE program, the goal is to disorient, disarm, and surprise the aggressor so that he or she is not able to injure others at will. In the video, students used books, book bags, and other items that were readily accessible to throw once they had no other option. Never leave a safe or secure area to confront the problem. Only use this option as a last resort. Once again, use only the different steps of the ALICE program that are necessary to keep yourself and others safe and be ready to use the other steps should the situation change. Auburn University is committed to providing information and resources to make this a safe campus. We encourage you to always be prepared and never think that it can't happen here. With the right actions, you can save your life and the lives of those around you.